check, check, test one. Testing one, two, testing one, two. One, two, three, test, test, test. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Testing one, two, three, one, two, one, two. This TuckerCountySports.com broadcast live on the Tucker County Basketball and Football YouTube live pages is being brought to you by Pat and Jacqueline Nichols, attorney at law. Proud to support Tucker County Sports. Ed, Marcy, and Roxanne supporting Tucker County Kids. Jim's All-Star, hot food, cold beverages, and gas. Best of Canaan, vacation rentals, and property management. Mike Rosenall, your Tucker County Commissioner, wishing all Tucker County High School Mount Lions a safe and successful season. Atkins Home Center and Southern States of Parsons. Mr. Pizza of Parsons, home of the Mr. Big. More than just pizza, try our sub salads and wings. Robert Estates Incorporated, serving all of your general contracting needs. United Financial Service, auto life and commercial insurance plus annuities. Grand Slam Grill. Visit us for our signature burgers and our fresh cut fries. St. George Medical Clinic. Locations in St. George, Parsons, and Canaan Valley. Grant County Bank. Committed to the communities we serve. Mountain State Brewery and Pizza. Call us for your next pizza order located in Thomas. This TuckerCountySports.com broadcast is also being brought to you by Riccatelli Fencing and Lumber Company, your local rustic fence provider. Kidwell Auto Parts with locations in Parsons and Thomas. Bob Gutshaw, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Cortland Acres, the nature of care. Choose us for your long-term care, rehab, and therapy needs. Mountain Valley Bank, locations in Parsons, Elkins, and Mill Creek. Stumptown Ales, open daily in downtown Davis. Taggart's Valley Orthopedics, now located at Davis Medical Center in Elkins. The Paint Store, your local Benjamin Moore paint supplier. The Grove Cafe and Bakery, located on Virginia Avenue in Petersburg. The Spectacle Family Eye Care, your local eye care provider located in Petersburg. Siriani's Cafe with locations in Davis and Canaan Valley. And by Miners and Merchants Bank. Call the Friendly Bank for your next loan. And now back to more exciting Mount Lions action right here, Tucker County Sports. .com. And welcome everyone live to Kaiser High School tonight. Championship is on the line, the Class Single A Region 2 Section 1 postseason tournament. And it's two of the top three teams in the state, Class Single A as well. Number one, Tucker County, 19 and three. Number three, East Hardy. Number two in the section, 18 and two. 
overall. Chris George alongside Dave Helmick, and here we are, Dave. These two were bound and determined to meet in this game, and that's where they're at tonight. Round number three, both teams won on the opposing home floor. Tonight, we're on the neutral floor. What's going to happen? Yeah, and a lot of lot in lot in stake for both teams tonight. You know, you win this game, Chris, and you get to host a regional game next week, and uh, you know that's the thing uh, that you're fighting for here. Is you know you talked about it in your intro. They they split the regular season uh, matchups. You know, each team winning on the opposing's home floor. So uh, you know tonight they battle again for the third time, and uh, they will. You know, ultimately be playing for a home game next week. You know, I don't think win or lose either team, the seating's probably going to change much going into uh, you know, next week. But obviously you want to host that regional game next Tuesday, and that's exactly what this is about tonight. You know, these two, these two teams, it's amazing. You look at it, they're so different from one another. You look at East Hardy, and they are small, quick, fast that can shoot the basketball and you look at tucker county they're the exactly opposite they're big they're strong yeah they can shoot with ethan rosenall but they're a totally different team than what these tardy these guys are polar opposites one another yeah you're right and uh, you know it's that's the thing uh, and that's kind of you know I, I i didn't get to see a lot of the game at east tardy but uh you're right you know uh east tardy that's how they got back in it at tucker and uh was the three ball, and that's what they've been doing well lately is shooting the three very well. So we'll see how it all shakes out. But uh, you're right, uh, in Tucker County, more of a you know pounded inside power game. Uh, Ethan Croston can light it up, but other than that, you know Tucker County likes to get it inside. However, that could be a disadvantage for Tucker with the speed of East Hardy. You know, you got Tucker County out there at their side. East Hardy has the quickness. Talk about that as well. Yeah, I mean, it can go both ways. Uh, you know, you, you talk about offense, but it, it can also work against you defensively. And, you know, uh, you, you can be quick, but you can't guard the post. But, you know, the quickness should help you on the offense end. So that's where it kind of – you get into that thing where, uh, you know, who has the advantage and, and, and the teams are opposite. But it's going to be about matchups and who has, exploits the best matchup tonight. What went wrong in the first game? You watched it. You were there. Well, what went wrong is, uh, you know, Tucker had a, a pretty good lead, and then, uh, you know, East Hardy kind of fought back there, and and then uh, Tucker didn't fight back with them. And before, next thing you know, it was, a, it was a ball game, and then East Hardy's rolling, and they keep hitting shots, and they keep hitting shots. And, and they made, like, what, eight threes in the fourth quarter or something like that to get back in it and ultimately uh, – get that win at Tucker County. Well, and then Tucker County went to Baker and won convincingly on the road at East Hardy. I talked to Chris Hahn before the game. He's like, look, we didn't handle the atmosphere. Tucker came. They took it to us. They played better. They were a better team that night, but we didn't handle the atmosphere. Largest crowd we ever had. And I said, how are you going to handle that tonight? Because this crowd's going to be even bigger. And he said, that's the biggest question. Yeah, and I mean, you know, the, and what a lot of people aren't talking about either is Tucker County uh, kind of had their football legs that first meeting. You know, this Tucker County team has kind of got their basketball legs under them. They've been playing a lot better. You know, obviously they had some hiccups here and there, you know, at Southern. The other night against Union, they weren't up playing up to their potential. But, you know, there's still talent there, and they still can figure it out at any moment. As you look on your screen here, East Tardy bench is down to your left. As you're viewing it on your screen, Tucker's the far right, East Hardy will be the road team in the contest because they're the number two seed in the section. Dark green uniforms with the gold numbers trimmed in white. Tucker County will be in the home white uniforms. So Tucker County and East Hardy trying to sneak the starters in here before the anthem if we can. For East Hardy, the guards, JWT to Nate Smith, they're very good. They can shoot, they can score, they can penetrate, they can pitch, and they can dish it off. Teets averages 14 a game, Smith averages 12. Evan Hamilton and Mason Hamilton, the other guards, the four-guard offense, the Twins, the Hamilton Twins, good athletes, 5'7", sophomores. Evan averages 10, Mason averages 4. Jordan Teets is their forward, six foot and junior, averages 16 a game. And they'll come off the bench with Gideon Good, 6'6", six, six, and the freshman. He averages 10. They're high on him. For Tucker County, Maddox Anderson, Trevin Bonner, and Ethan Rosenall are the guards. Anderson averages 5.5 a, a game. Bonner, 14. Rosenall, 17. Owen Knotts and Ashton Licklider up front are the forwards. 
Knott 6'5 and a senior, Licklider 6'5 and a senior. Both average right around eight points per game. But off the bench, Garrett Wilfong, I think is the next factor in this game, Dave. Wilfong averages nine and a half points per game. He did not play in game one. He didn't play in game two, but guess what? He's here tonight. Yeah, I mean, it, he was uh, sick and out for, for game one and then uh, in game two and serving a suspension. So, uh, you know, it's he's definitely a, a difference maker, you know, on any given night. So you know, we've obviously seen his athleticism many times with the way he slam dunked the ball, but he's also a good rebounder and a good good one to have in there on the inside to make things happen. And one thing Chris Hahn told me before the game, his team believes this year. He said they all get along, they believe a lot more so than what his team did last year. And you know, that means they're gonna be confident to come in here, but I still wanna see how they handle this atmosphere. This gym is packed here at Kaiser. A little bit of room on the bleachers on the far side behind the basket, but this is gonna be an electric atmosphere tonight. Yeah, it definitely is, and uh, you know, much anticipated matchup. Seen, seen people walking through the door that's not affiliated with either school, and you know, uh, this is what a high school basketball is all about right here. Kaiser High School has been the site for many, many Tucker County championships over the last two to three decades. This is kind of our home away from home, and uh, it's a unique gym. For those of you who are not familiar or have been to Robert C. Bird High School, it's exactly the same type of gym, except it's gold and black. And uh, Tucker is used to playing here. And I say, when you get a team like East Tardy that really shoots the basketball well, the depth perception could also be a factor in this. Yeah, it could. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, it's a different backdrop. And, you know, sometimes people struggle with that. But uh, it's all about, you know, you got to go out here and you got to play harder than the other team. And, you know, and that's, I think sometimes when you have teams like this that are similarly matched, that's ultimately what makes the difference. Yeah, no doubt about it. The game broadcast, East Tardy, Tucker County, Class A Region 2 Section 1 Championship is next right after this. I want to thank the Smokehouse at Blackwater Falls. Visit them for your next home-cooked meal. This TuckerCountySports.com broadcast live on the Tucker County basketball and football YouTube live pages is being brought to you by Pat and Jacqueline Nichols, attorney at law. Proud to support Tucker County Sports. Ed, Marcy, and Roxanne supporting Tucker County kids. Jim's All-Star, hot food, cold beverages, and gas. Best of Canaan, vacation rentals, and property management. Mike Rosenall, your Tucker County Commissioner, wishing all Tucker County High School Mount Lions a safe and successful season. Atkins Home Center and Southern States of Parsons. Mr. Pizza of Parsons, home of the Mr. Big. More than just pizza, try our sub salads and wings. Robert Estates Incorporated, serving all of your general contracting needs. United Financial Service, Auto Life and Commercial Insurance Plus Annuities. Grand Slam Grill. Visit us for our signature burgers and our fresh cut fries. St. George Medical Clinic. Locations in St. George, Parsons, and Canaan Valley. Grant County Bank. Committed to the communities we serve. Mountain State Brewery and Pizza. Call us for your next pizza order located in Thomas. This TuckerCountySports.com broadcast is also being brought to you by Riccatelli Fencing and Lumber Company, your local rustic fence provider. Kidwell Auto Parts with locations in Parsons and Thomas. Okay, we're back. Getting ready to start to jump center. How about this matchup? You've got Evan Hamilton at 5'7", going against Owen Knotts at 6'5". Yeah, this will be interesting. Potomac Valley Conference Board of Officials here tonight. Ball tipped and controlled by Tucker County. On your screen, they work from our right to left. And where we position, we're right behind a Tucker County basket on the floor, court side tonight. Out high, top of the circles, Trevin Bonner. Bonner drives in the lane, puts up the shot in the paint, counted for two, Trevin Bonner. Tucker leads early, 2-0. Back comes East Tardy the other way. Yeah, you think they could have picked a, a better ball. They're playing out there with a Wilson ball, and it's a little different color. Nate Smith swings it right side on the wing with it. Now Mason Hamilton. 
Hamilton looks to the side against that Tucker defense. Out high it goes to J.W. Teets. Teets with it. Looks left corner. That's where Nate Smith is positioned. J.W. Teets and Nate Smith, very good outside shooters. Teets drives, shoots off the window and scores it in the paint. And that ties it up at two. A nice take there by J.W. Teets. He's tardy, applies some full court pressure. Back the other way comes Tucker County. Out high with it, far side of the floor. It's Bonner. Into the corner to Anderson. His pass inside to Knotts. He gets free. The shot doesn't go. He's fouled. Yeah, good little ball, ball screen action there. And Knotts slipped it down to the post. And East Hardy was late. And they get the foul. And that foul's on Nate Smith. That's his first. And they're going to say no good on the free throw as Knotts apparently stepped over the line. Yep, so that one won't even count. Wow. Towards the stats or nothing. And the second one is good. Three to two, Tucker. Quickly back comes East Tardy the other way. Far side of the floor from where we sit. Nate Smith out high, Oyo's the basketball. Smith guarded there by Rosenall. Left side, they go to Teets. Top of the circle pass, Mason Hamilton. Hamilton turns, finds Jordan Teets. He'll shoot the long three and hit it. Jordan Teets for three. And East Tardy has our lead change number one of the game, five to three. Tucker the other way. Near side corner and a skip pass, far side. Licklider gets it to Bonner. Bonner to the foul line, kicks it back out high. It goes to Maddox Anderson, far side to Bonner. Top of the circle, Anderson stops, pops, three in the air, in and out, no good, rebound. Bonner had it taken away as he brought it down by Jordan Teets. Back comes East Star the other way. In the front court, driving the lane is Hamilton, kicks it out to his twin brother Mason for three, and he hits it. Got to get out on him, got to chase him off the three-point line, eight to three, East Hardy, that's their game. Yeah, they like to shoot it, and they shoot it well. Right corner, dribble, drive, nice pass inside. Anderson finds Licklider, and Licklider lays it up and in for two, cuts the lead to one. He's tardy quickly back the other way, ball deflected by Owen Knotts, and it goes out of bounds off of Owen in the far left corner. And actually, actually, that score is right. It's 8-5, he's tardy. Yeah, that's what I've got, 8-5, you're right. Yeah. Okay, so he got a little ahead of themselves on the board, didn't he? Yes. Okay, he's hard to trigger it in underneath their own basket. It'll be J.W. Teets. Teets gets it in to Jordan Teets. Torque Teets, left side, out. Top of the circle, driving in and kicking, and a pass. Open for three. Evan Hamilton, no good. Chased down by his twin brother, Mason. Back to Evan, to Mason, right corner. He'll get it back to Nate Smith. Smith around, top of the circle. Looks inside, no one there. Finds Jordan Teets. He drives, foul on extended left, and drove into a travel. Turn over East Turner. A nice D there by Tucker County to help side there to step in and cause that turnover. Full court pressure applied by the Cougars. Garrett Wolfong came in last possession. He has it top of the circle. Comes right side to Bonner. One hands it between the circles to Anderson. He'll restart it. Eight to five is our score in favor of East Hardy. 4.57 to go, first quarter of play. Bonner between the circles, comes near side corner to Maddox Anderson. Anderson, left corner, dribble drive, shot. That's Bonner, excuse me. Bonner drives the left baseline and lays it up and in. Two more for Bonner. Yeah, you get them two confused a lot. <laughs> they look alike, don't they? They really do. And there's a pass stolen by Ethan Rosenall. Good job by Ethan to get the steal. Back comes Tucker the other way. Right side, open for three. In and out, no good there by Bonner. And the rebound, Licklider. That's one position Tucker should dominate tonight is the glass. Licklider, reverse layup. No, he missed it. Will fall goes for the rebound. Oh, my, right in front of us. The ball goes off the hands of Jordan Teets. They're going to give it to East Carter. Or did they overrule it and give it to Tucker? It should be Tucker's ball. Oh, my. That's bad. And we say that, folks, because we're literally right in front of it. And we're going to talk about it here. I think they're going to give it back to Tucker. Honestly, folks, it is Tucker ball, but they're going to keep it at this point. Okay, eight to seven. That's okay. Tucker likes playing defense. J.W. Teets. 
dribble jogs it in the front court. Teets, right side, it goes to Mason Hamilton. Hamilton gets it back to JW on the wing, right side. JW now dribbles to the foul line. Hands it off to Evan Hamilton, back to Mason. Mason Hamilton drives, dishes to Evan. Evan in the lane, back out. It goes to JW Teets, ball fake, gets it inside. Nice pass, the big guy just checked in. Gideon good, shot doesn't go, he's fouled. Well, we're gonna get Owen Knox on the foul and a little, a little tic-tac-y there, but uh, you gotta live with it. It's his first, team's first. Gideon good at the line ahead of us to shoot two. The freshman, six feet, six inches tall. Free throw, airborne, good. Nine seven, he's tardy up the lead. Second one, airborne, no good, strong, rebound, chase down Owen Knotts. Gets it to Maddox Anderson. Anderson brings it in the front court. Anderson, out high, hands it off to Owen Knotts. Knotts against that East Hardy defense, dribbles to the foul line. Back out, driving into the right corner deep with it is Trevor Bonner, back open, wide open, and, and that is a three, talent for Maddox Anderson. Well, you're not even guarding Maddox Anderson, and he's been hitting threes lately. That might not be a good idea. Yeah, they're doing a little bit of a junk defense. They talked about trying to do something special tonight on Ethan Rosenall. We'll check it next time down. It's kind of hard to see from where we're at. There's a shot missed, no good by East Hardy, and the rebound down to Tucker, and a foul against the Cougars. Yeah, not a good shot that time on for East Hardy. Kind of a rushed runner. And now uh, Chris Holland's going to take a timeout. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Lead change number two. Tucker up 10 to 9. That last foul, by the way, was on Evan Hamilton, his first. So we'll keep an eye on what they're doing on Ethan Rosenall. He talked to me earlier. He said he wanted to do a, a little bit of a diamond and one on him in the half court to try to keep him from shooting the ball because he feels that he is the one guy that can really hurt them, and he did. He scored over 20 points in the game at Baker earlier this year. So we'll see how it works, but when you do something like that, guys like Maddox, Anderson, others are gonna be open, and Anderson hit that three. Yeah, and, and that's what's gonna take, if you're gonna take uh, Rosenall away, which is a smart move, because Rosenall's one of the purest shooters in, probably in the state, and uh, you know, you got to take him away and make somebody else uh, make a shot. And then if they do, like Maddox just did, then it's going to be tough. So you got to uh, pick your poison if you're East Hardy. In the front court, Tucker, Garrett will fall, pulls up on the dribble right side. Now the work of back, top of the circle to Anderson, inside knot. Post up, turns, back out, top of the circle, open for three. Bonner on the rim and in good. The roll goes for Trevin Bonner. Yeah, and the extra pass left Bonner wide open. 13-9 is the Tucker lead, 2.40 to go first quarter. We'll give you the score as many times as we can. No scoreboard tonight here on our screen. Top of the circle, Mason Hamilton dribbles with it, hands it off to his twin brother, and he drives. Evan, shot no good, rebound cleared, Owen Knotts. Back comes Tucker the other way, right side of the floor, into the corner, open for three, Bonner again. Got it again. Trevor Bonner, hot from outside. He has 10 first quarter points. Tucker leads 16-9. East Tardy calls another 30 with 2.14 to go. How about Trevor Bonner early, Dave? Yeah, and I mean, that's, that's, that's the difference in this game right now, Chris. I mean, you know, they're leaving guys open and, and they're, they're taking away Ethan, but the Tucker kids are stepping up. You got Bonner hits, it's hit two threes. Maddox has hit one. That's the difference here. It's a 12-0 run, and it's 16-9. It might be more than that. It might be like a 14-0 you know, run, but a 12-0 run for sure because it's been actually 9-0 because it's been three, three threes. So my math not very good there. 9-0 <laughs> run for sure for Tucker with three threes. Two by Bonner and then one by uh, Maddox Anderson. Okay, he's tardy with the basketball. Back comes JWT the other way. Pass. Left side of the floor it goes to Evan Hamilton. They work it back out high to JWT, it's right side. He goes into the baseline, ball deflected. It's out of bounds off of East Hardy. Good defense on the baseline by Garrett Wolfall. His long arms force that turnover. 
up off the bench coming back into the game is Nate Smith and he'll replace Jordan Teets. Yeah, this is a danger time here for East Hardy. And I say that with only 158 left in the first, they got to maintain control here. They cannot let this lead get any more. And that you could sense that by ha Chris Hahn calling time out there. At the foul line, Bonner jumper for two, no good. Will Fall gets the rebound. In the corner, right in front of us, kicks it out high to Anderson. Anderson drives, he's fouled on the hand check out high on the floor. Yeah, and they're not calling. That, that's the first hand check call Red really called. Coach Hahn getting them on about it. And he's probably right. Let's see if that, that, that changes. Jordan Teets picks up the foul, his first. A minute 38 to go in turning first quarter, 16-9 Tucker. Will Fong inside, shot left and short, maybe partially blocked, rebound East Hardy. Back they come the other way quickly with Nate Smith. Smith with the top of the circle, it goes to Evan Hamilton. Over to J.W. Teets, deep on the left wing extended. Teets guarded by Bonner, gets it back out high, Nate Smith. Smith drives to the foul line, takes it back to Mason Hamilton, head of the key, Hamilton, now backs it back out near the timeline, dribble hands it off to J.W. Teets. A minute eight to go, 16-9 Tucker first quarter. Driving through, Teets to the basket, kicks it out, open for three, no good. Missed by Nate Smith, rebound Tucker. Here they come quickly in transition. Maddox Anderson had it stolen from behind. I don't know what happened there. Anderson slowed up, had the advantage to the rim. Turnover Tucker, quickly back comes East Tardy, jumper for two, Nate Smith count it. On the baseline left, 18 feet out, yeah. Smith, first two of the night. I thought the East Hardy kid was out of bounds, Chris, but evidently not. They didn't call it. I don't know what happened there. Anderson lost control of the dribble going up. Tucker ball, high post. Knotts hands it off. Off a of screen, Rosenall is... All for a walk. All for a walk. A little hop there off that pass. And, you know, he's got the right to catch it and come down. And they call a walk there. 27 seconds to go, Third, first quarter, 16-11 is the Tucker lead. High post, Gideon Good with it, the freshman, is back to the basket, bounces it, right wing, J.W. Teets, Teets drives into the lane, turns, fadeaway shot, wide right, no good, rebound Tucker, Maddox Anderson, long baseball pass in front court to Bonner, Bonner pulls up, a little hesitation move, drives, reverse layup, ending off the rim, no, rebound tapped out. Here comes East Hardy State WT, three-quarter court heave at the buzzer, does not go. Into one, Tucker County, 16, East Hardy 11. Class A Region 2 Section 1 Championship continues right after this. TuckerCountySports.com. This is TuckerCountySports.com broadcast live on the Tucker County High School football and basketball YouTube live page is being brought to you by Pat and Jacqueline Nichols, attorney at law. Jim's All-Star, Mike Rosenall, Atkins Home Center in Southern States of Parsons, Mr. Pizza of Parsons, Robert Estates Incorporated, United Financial Service, Grand Slam Grill, St. George Medical Clinic, Grant County Bank, Ed, Marcy, and Roxanne. Mountain State Pizza. And now back to more exciting action right here on TuckerCountySports.com. Okay, we're back. Chris George, Dave Helmick with you at Kaiser High School. Neutral site for the boys and the girls in Class 8 Region 2, Section 1. The championships played here, both girls and boys this year. And Tucker County girls won it last week. Tucker County boys trying to do the same. So far, so good. After one, up 16-11 without Ethan Rosenhall scoring a point as of yet, Dave. Yeah, I mean, he's already doing a good job on the uh, defense, keeping e you know, Ethan down, but uh, Bonner and Anderson doing their part. Hamilton, top of the circle to his twin brother, Evan, and Evan is called for traveling. Good defense by the bigs inside to force that walk. He hesitated. He went up and saw a six foot five Tucker County post player in his face and drug his feet and was called for traveling. Back comes Tucker the other way. Maddox Anderson, top of the circle. Works right side of the floor. Pulls up on the wing. Goes inside Licklider. Had it slapped out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan Teets. It stays with Tucker. 7.34 to go first half. Mount Lions by five, 
and bang the basketball. Garrett Wilfong lobs it in far side of the floor to Anderson, top of the circle. Anderson has it, back to Bonner. Bonner hesitates, and they come back to Anderson on the left side, top of the circle, hit, faking and hesitating as Rose and all that. He'll fire it and hit it. They're going to count it for three. They hesitated a bit, did the referees, but then they stuck their arms up, and they give Rosen all three. And East Tardy misses on the other end. Quickly the rebound down to Garrett Wilfong. Back they come. Wilfong gives it up to Maddox Anderson, top of the circle. Anderson dribble jogs around the screen, fakes the shot, pick and roll. That's a foul on Licklider. My goodness, holding him hard there was JWT. They blow the whistle late, but they did for the right call. Yeah, he, uh, he almost scored that bucket with JWT hanging on his arm. <laughs> yeah, he did. I mean, I'm surprised he didn't go in and bounce to every part of the rim. Just didn't fall for him. Licklider struggling at the line this year, 40%. Let's see if he can make at least one of these. And he does make the first. That works. Let's go for two in a row here, Ashton. 20 to 11 is the Tucker lead. 6.58 to go first half. Licklider. Airborne on the second. He got it, two for two, we'll take it. 21-11, Tucker by 10. That's their biggest lead. J.W. Teets with it out high in the front court. Teets works right side of the floor, turns. Ball deflected off of Wilfong, stolen by Bonner. Bonner quickly the other way, speed to the basket, layup no good. Licklider follows it up and scores two. The size is where Tucker County can really hurt East Tardy on missed shots on the offensive glass tonight, Dave. Yeah, and that's an example right there. At Mason Hamilton, right side, top of the circle, quick release three. Nate Smith hits it. Rosenthal's got to get his hands up. Didn't really close out there. Smith hits a three. Cuts it to nine. 23-14, Tucker, 6-10 to go. Second quarter, Rosenthal off balance. 10-footer up and in for Ethan Rosenall. Yeah, and he probably got fouled too, but they didn't call it. I think you're correct. Top of the circle, it's Mason Hamilton. Swings it on the right side to J.W. Teets. Teets with it, ball over his head. Gets it back out high. Jordan Teets, he drives, dishes. And that's Mason Hamilton. Back to Jordan Teets, deep in the left corner. Over to Nate Smith. Smith drives, the lefty had it deflected by Bonner. It stays. If he's tardy as the ball goes out of bounds. Into the game, Gideon Good, 6'6 freshman, replacing Mason Hamilton. Yeah, five, 5.42 left in this second quarter, and this, this quarter's flying by. 25-14, Tucker. Gideon Good with it. Left corner, hands it off. And JWT's pass is deflected, nearly saved. Acrobatic saved there by Anderson, but he's out of bounds. A lot of energy being expelled here in this game. Both teams going hard. I think someone's throwing quarters at us, Dave. Mm -hmm. Got a foul on the floor coming up here against Tucker. If they give me three more, I can go buy some. <laughs> this said my old man, he'll get it for you. <laughs> Maddox Anderson picks up the foul, his first, team's first. He used to be able to buy some with a quarter, not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Need about 10 of those, right? Yep. Jordan Teets hands it off to Nate Smith. Smith pulls up, 15-footer no good. Gideon Good crashes the glass and puts it up and in, three feet in the lane. Gideon Good, nice offensive rebound, kept the ball high above his head, scores two. Rosenall, quick release, three on the other end, short. Licklider rebounds it against the freshman, has a shot blocked, but then Wilfall gets the rebound, kicks it out, Bonner, open for three, got it. Yeah, Licklider got killed and they didn't call it. 28-16. 458 turning first half. Tucker has been deadly from outside beyond 19-9 in this first half. Offensive foul, nope, we're gonna have a defensive foul. Five threes for Tucker so far and three for East Hardy. That's basically the difference in this game is Tucker County's ability to knock down the three, especially Bonner who has three of them. That foul on Rosenhall was a good call, but I saw another one away from the ball. I thought they were going to call an offensive foul on, but we play on. J.W. Teach drives left side, goes inside, open. Gideon Good, he scores it. I like him, Dave. He's a freshman. He keeps the ball high. And you'll see a lot of kids do that at that age. That kid's going to be pretty good if he continues to work, 28-18. Yeah, he's going to be a good one. 
keeps working. Licklider dumps it back out high to Anderson. Anderson drives, teardrop off window. No, Licklider tried to get it, lost it coming down, saved by East Hardy. Back they come, nice job, Garrett Wilfong deflecting that out of bounds. You know, Wilfong doesn't do that. You have JW Teach streaking to the left side wide open. That's a good defensive play by Garrett Wilfong. Yeah, and his athleticism on, on display in basketball, but we've really seen it on the football field with his ability to catch the football. Nate Smith, right wing, top of the circle to Jordan Teets. Back inside, turn around, shot was rejected by Garrett Wilfong out of the hands of Nate Smith on the left baseline. <laughs> oh, was that a beauty. He blocked it with his elbow. <laughs> you know, I, I, I say this comparison, Garrett Wolfong's leaping ability for a kid about 6'4 reminds me of Nathan Fields when he played for Elkins. You remember Nathan Fields, how well he could jump for about the same height. Yes. JWT out high, dribbling the basketball. Under Hanson. Evan Hamilton. Back out high. The foul line. That's Teets. Fakes, turns, hands it off. Jordan Teets for three. Back iron no. Getting good over the back of Noah Knox. Commits the personal foul on the rebound. Yeah, good box out there by Tucker County. And Good, just a little too anxious there. And you got to run back there at that point. Gideon good, a little too good on that offensive rebound attempt, right, Dave? Yeah. Yep. Got caught with it. 28-18 is a Tucker lead, 3.30 to go first half here in Kaiser. Chris George, Dave Helmick with you. Maddox Anderson right side of the floor. To an open, Rosenall for three. He was pushed after the shot. No good call. Knots on the rebound. We play on. Good hustle by Knotts. Knotts inside, posts up good. They kick it out, near side corner, driving to the basket. Bonner, up and under move, layup, good for Bonner. Boy, Bonner has come to play tonight, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Didn't, didn't play that well the other night against Union, but by George, he's playing well tonight. He has 15 points. Tucker leads 30 to 18, 258 to go first half, and coming through Gideon Good, and committing the personal foul is Owen Knotts. A little too aggressive his own, but that's his second. So we'll see if Coach Helmick gets knocked out of the game, and he will. Licklider comes back in to replace him. Yeah, 2.57 left in the second quarter. Tucker leading 30 to 18. You know Three that? fouls for Tucker County, two for the visitors on the school board East Hardy. And with a 12-point lead, you can afford to take knots out with those two fouls here. Yes. Left side, Nate Smith, or right side, Nate Smith drives. Hands it off to getting good, top of the circle. Good, had a strip, nearly stolen. Anderson, yep. did he touch it? No, off the hands. Yeah, J.W. Teets hit it last. Yeah, J.W. Teets. 2.40 to go first half. Tucker County 30, East Tardy 18 here in Kaiser. Class A Region 2, Section 1 Championship. The winner hosts next Tuesday. The loser travels more than likely to Pendleton County. Long jumper for three, Bonner in and out, no good. Rebound tapped out, saved by Rosenau. Ethan with it, deep on the left side. Swings it between the circles to Bonner. Bonner looks for a dribble handoff instead. Just now he'll hand it off to Anderson. Back to Rosenau. Rosenau with it, drives, pulls up. Long jumper for two, no good. Rebound, Gideon good. And we got a whistle and a foul. And we're going the other way, it's against Tucker County. And it's on Garrett Wilfong. Yeah, good box out there by East Hardy. But uh, one little uh, hint at halftime. There's another stat besides three is why Tucker County's leading this game. And we'll talk more about that at halftime. But a glaring stat, by the way. 157 and turning first half. Jay Jordan Teets for three on the rim. No rebound. Tapped in the hands of Licklider. Licklider hands it off to Bonner. Bonner quickly races into the front court. Bonner with it. Hands it to Anderson, top of the circle. Maddox with it, around the screen. Dumps it inside to the screener, Wilfong, who shot no good. Rebound, well, they're gonna give it to East Hardy. Back they come the other way. Into the lane, taking four steps and missing a the shot there was Evan Hamilton. Rebound down to Tucker. They just don't want to call foul, do they? Well, they didn't want to call that walk there either. Evan took an extra step and a half. I digress and we move on. Trevin Bonner with it out high left side. Top of the circle to Licklider. Back over to Wolfong. Oh, nice pass inside wide open. Bonner misses the bunny. No good. That was the easiest shot he's had all night and he missed it. A little back screen action 
Wide open was Bonner and uh, just uh, one he'd like to have back, I'm sure. Under a minute to go, Tucker by 12, 30 to 18. He's tardy basketball, Nate Smith with it right side. Swings it to Gideon, good to O. Wide open inside is Hamilton, followed up no good there by his twin brother Mason, rebound Tucker. Wow. They missed one from point blank range. Okay, 38 seconds and turning first half. Ethan Rosenall deep on the right side with the basketball. Top of the circle to Will Fong. Back over to Bonner. Bonner one hands it to Rosenall, deep right wing. Back to Will Fong to Licklider. Everything out beyond the perimeter. They're playing off Licklider, daring to shoot that. One of these days he may pull the trigger, but not this close to the game. Pulling up the shot, no good. Licklider fights the rebound. He has it. He puts it up. Blocked. Good. Followed up. There's a foul called as Rosenall followed up the shot in the paint. He's hammered to the ground and fouled. I didn't think they were going to call that one. That comes with 12.2 to go first half. Ethan Rosenau at the line in front of us to shoot two. Gideon Good has picked up his second foul. Rosenau's free throw is up and in. That's key for Good, his second. He's been a difference maker for them while he's been in the game. Short on the sec, will fall on the rebound. He's fouled, and he scores in the lane, and he'll go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Hello, Garrett Wilfong, what how a, do you do? What a rebound that was there. And then he kind of just jumped in the air, and then once they blew the whistle, he hung, looked back the other way, and then took the shot. Now he's talking on the foul line. He probably shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, and he, he talked himself into a miss. No good, rebound, back the other way. Comes East Tardy. Quickly through the lane, shot blocked out of the hands of Mason Hamilton. And it's gonna be contact there and a foul. I think it's on Licklider, we'll see. At the line ahead of us to shoot two is Mason Hamilton. Free throw, no good. And the foul count is five for Tucker and four for East Hardy. 3.1 seconds left in the second quarter. 33-18 Tucker, make it 33-19 Tucker. 3.1, see if they can do something here. Bonner to Anderson, long shot for three. No good, that would have worked if they had about a second left because Licklider rebounded it. They laid it up and in, but it came after the horn. Halftime from the class single A, region two section one championship game. Tucker County 33, East Tardy 19. Stay tuned, our halftime show is next, right after this. This Tucker County Sports.com broadcast live on the Tucker County Basketball and Football YouTube live pages is being brought to you by Pat and Jacqueline Nichols, attorney at law. Proud to support Tucker County Sports. Ed, Marcy, and Roxanne supporting Tucker County kids. Jim's All Star, hot food, cold beverages, and gas. Best of Canaan, vacation rentals, and property management. Mike Rosenall, your Tucker County Commissioner, wishing all Tucker County High School Mount Lions a safe and successful season. Atkins Home Center and Southern States of Parsons. Mr. Pizza of Parsons, home of the Mr. Big. More than just pizza, try our sub salads and wings. Robert Estates Incorporated, serving all of your general contracting needs. United Financial Service, Auto Life and Commercial Insurance Plus Annuities. Grand Slam Grill. Visit us for our signature burgers and our fresh cut fries. St. George Medical Clinic. Locations in St. George, Parsons, and Canaan Valley. Grant County Bank. Committed to the communities we serve. Mountain State Brewery and Pizza. Call us for your next pizza order located in Thomas. This TuckerCountySports.com broadcast is also being brought to you by Riccatelli Fencing and Lumber Company, your local rustic fence provider. Kidwell Auto Parts with locations in Parsons and Thomas. Bob Gutshaw, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Cortland Acres, the nature of care. Choose us for your long-term care, rehab, and therapy needs. Mount Valley Bank, locations in Parsons, Elkins, and Mill Creek. Stumptown Ales, open daily in downtown Davis. 
The Smokehouse at Blackwater Falls. Visit them for your next home-cooked meal. Taggart's Valley Orthopedics, now located at Davis Medical Center in Elkins. The Paint Store, your local Benjamin Moore paint supplier. The Grove Cafe and Bakery, located on Virginia Avenue in Petersburg. The Spectacle Family Eye Care, your local eye care provider located in Petersburg. Sirianni's Cafe with locations in Davis and Canaan Valley. And by Miners and Merchants Bank. Call the Friendly Bank for your next loan. And now back to more exciting Mount Lions action right here, TuckerCountySports.com. 15 points for Meeson, or 15 points from Trevin Bonner leads the way for the Mount Lions as they lead here at the break in the Class A Region 2 Section 1 Championship over East Tardy, 33-19, Dave. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Tucker County's ability to make shots and uh, East Tardy going that quarter, only scoring eight points has uh, basically been the difference. Uh, you know, Tucker County you know, outscores uh, East Hardy 16-11 uh, in the first quarter, but then they open up the lead with this big advantage in the second quarter. Talked to Chris Hahn before the game, and his game plan was to play a little bit of a jump defense on – Ethan Rosenall to try to keep him from shooting the basketball. But you know what? This Tucker team this year, probably more so this year than a year ago, there's more than just one weapon out there. There's other guys that can step up, and you see it with Trevin Bonner in the first half, and he's done it all year. 15 points, I mentioned in the first half. He averages 14. But then you got Maddox Anderson who's stepping up. Maddox Anderson's a much different player right now than he was in early December when we lost to this team. And again, Ashton Licklider stepping up in a big way with six points. But you mentioned one stat, Dave, that uh, gave a little teaser there in that second quarter. What's that one stat that Tucker's got an advantage with right now? Well, East Hardy has turned the ball over seven times in that first half to just three for Tucker County. You know, and then and then you go a little deeper in the stats. They've out-rebounded East Hardy 18 to six. And 18 rebounds, well, six, seven, eight, nine of those, half of them have been offensive rebounds. So. Uh, half of the rebounds that Tucker County have are second chance opportunities. So more shots on the basket, and that's been the difference for Tucker County. They've, they've got those threes. They've got those other buckets. They've got this lead because they've actually been pounding the glass and getting those uh, other opportunities. Scoring in the first half quickly before we talk about our keys in the second half because i got a big question coming up with Dave. He's tardy. Not much scoring. Five points for both Nate Smith and Gideon Good. In fact, when Gideon Good has been in this game, he's helped East Tardy. they got to have him on the floor in the second half. There's no doubt. Jordan Teets with three. Mason Hamilton, four. Evan Hamilton is scoreless. J.W. Teets, they held J.W. Teets to two points. And you can thank Maddox Anderson for that. Did a good job there. Seven field goals for the Cougars, three threes. Two out of four to line, 19 points. Now for Tucker quickly, 15 points for Trevin Bonner. Bonner had three threes, three twos. Maddox Anderson had a three for his three points. Ethan Rosenall, six points, a three and a two, a one for two at the line. Owen Knotts had a point. Lick Leiter with six, and Garrett Wolfong with two. 12 field goals for Tucker, five first half threes. Two for five at the line, 33, Dave. Yeah, and uh, three of those five came in the first quarter, but uh, additional stats looks like this. Uh, you know, uh, Owen Knotts uh, ends the half with four rebounds. Garrett Wilfong with five rebounds, Licklatter with three, and Maddox Anderson with three. And like I said, 18 rebounds for Tucker County, nine of those coming on the offensive glass. Uh, for East Hardy, uh, not many rebounds to mention, just six. Mason Hamilton leading them with two rebounds. Uh, then the rest are all one, and Evan Hamilton, J.W. Teets, Jordan Teets, and Gideon Good. Uh, turnovers, like I said, seven turnovers for East Hardy, just three for East Hardy. And, and honestly, uh, you know, the scoreboard obviously reads 33-19 Tucker County, but uh, the, the rebounding stats reads 33-19 Tucker County. Not quite, but a little bit of the difference, and it reads 18-6, which is a big, a lot more glaring stat than the scoreboard. And, if East Hardy's going to get back in this thing, they got to hold Tucker County to one shot and not let that offensive rebound keep happening. Well, they did that. 
first game of the year. In fact, they had a gigantic fourth quarter come from behind win. What did they do there and what worked there and what are they going to have to do here to try to match that and try to do it again here tonight? Well, you know, what they had was Tucker started missing some shots and then T East Hardy started making shots. And that's the thing about this East Hardy team, the way they shoot to three, they're almost never out of it. So, you know, we've seen the big leads, you know, the WVU game the other night when they were down by 25 and they made 13 second half threes to get back in it. That's what this East Hardy team is capable of. If you relax, you quit playing defense, you know, you you start rushing shots and start doing things you're not supposed to do. This Tucker County team has been focused in this first half. That has to continue in the second half, and they have to maintain what they have. Focus. I think you bring up a good point there, focus. You got to continue to do the simple things, right? You box out, rebound, you know, do the things you did there on defense. I thought they made a little bit of an adjustment there, did a better job closing out on shooters there after that first four-minute stretch in the first quarter. Well, don't help as much, right? You know, uh, you know, don't give up a three. If you want, if if, if they want to take a two, take a two. But you, you can't trade threes for two. So, you know, if they're hitting threes and that's their specialty, run them off the three line and see if they can make a layup. Well, yeah, he started coming out of the locker room, and you know they are not out of the game. Like you said, the way they can score the basketball and being down here, 33-19 at the half. Yeah, Tucker County is happy with that, but he's starting not going to go away. And well, again, that's... though, I, I've talked about this quickly, Dave, one more point. How they react, you know, reacting at Tucker earlier in the year, not near as much pressure as it is here. No, and, 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 and you talked about that. We're, you know, coming out of the locker room, what is the mood? Because if the mood is this team's, this Tucker team's way too good for you to get back in this thing, this game's over, yeah. but you've got to come out here and you can't have that attitude. You can't have, and that's where the loss at, at East Hardy is just deflating for them right now because if they would have competed more at home against Tucker, they may not be thinking what they're thinking here coming out of locker room. And I'm not trying to read body language here, but, you know, that's what you worry about as a coach. You know, you're, tell, you're in there telling them what they need to do. Tell, but are they listening? Are they going to respond? And, and are they convinced that they can beat this Tucker team? That is the magical question we're going to see, I think, here, especially in this third quarter. I agree. We're going to find out. Referees from the Tomac Valley Board back on the floor. As, as we're under a minute here before halftime's over. And I keep remembering that we, your listeners and watchers don't have a scoreboard. So uh, we're under 40 seconds here before we get back to the third quarter. and. Uh, you know, we want to thank all the sponsors for for uh, everything they do to provide us the opportunity to call these games, you know, including uh, the smokehouse at Blackwater Falls, who's not on the commercials. Visit them for your next home cooked meal, and uh, all the other sponsors that are helping uh, bring you Tucker County Sports here on TuckerCountySports.com. All right, here we go. 33-19, Tucker getting ready to start the third quarter of play. My buddy Matt Healy here watching. He was here last night watching his girls win over North Marion, and they're going to Charleston, are the Kaiser girls. Great story there to beat a story program like North Marion. Yeah, with a lot of young kids, uh, a lot of freshmen on that team, and uh, a very good freshman uh, Kaiser has. So the future bright here in the Golden Tornadoes. Okay, Tucker County works from our left to right. We sit opposite in on the floor here. Kevin Bonner. With the basketball out high, looking at that East Hardy defense. Examines it. And now goes left side of the floor. Back out high. Knotts. Back on the left wing. Bonner. Extra pass. Anderson. Left corner three. A little short. No. Rebound. Quickly here comes East Hardy. Evan Hamilton in the lane. JWT kicks it out. Long shot for three. Count it. Mason Hamilton. There you go. Just like that. Mason Hamilton scores his seventh point. 11 point game. 33 22. Yep. And deflected pass out of bounds. Well, we got a little call foul. Yeah, how about that? Wow. And that foul's on Evan Hamilton. That'll be his third. Yeah, that's a that was a tough call there. Okay, his third, team's first of the quarter. 33-22 Tucker, 7-14 turning third quarter. Lick ladder, top of the circle. Over to Bonner. Bonner with it. Bounces it. No, he doesn't. He keeps it. Back over to Maddox Anderson. 
Anderson examines that defense. High post goes to Licklider. He turns, looks back towards, not there. Gets it back to Maddox Anderson. He's punched and fouled. Wow. So they're going to call this a little tighter in this third quarter, Dave? I don't yeah. know. So far, you might see that. Well, that's the frustrating part about it. If you're a coach or a player, you know, they let them bludgeon each other to death there in that second quarter. Now they're calling everything. That's two on Teats. Inside, laying it up, no good. Anderson rebound, Licklider puts it up and in. Well, good job by Ashton. Working hard in there, the offensive rebound put back. 35-22, Tucker, 6.40 to go. Are they going to count it or go the way? They're going to count it. Oh, count my. the basket by Nate Smith. One referee on the near side did not know what to call. He looked at the official way out high on the right wing, and he said count it, and he wasn't even his call. This guy under the basket should be making the call, and he does not do it. He swallowed his whistle. Free throw, no good. Missed there by Nate Smith. And back they come the other way. 35-24, 6.30 to go, third quarter. Tucker with the ball and the 11-point lead. Anderson, right corner, dribbles with it. Inside to go to Knotts. Knotts turns, dumps it back out high. Licklider now makes the extra pass to Rosenall, and he'll go left corner, open three, no good. Anderson, rebound, Knotts. Knotts turns, shoots, missed it, too strong. Licklider had it, and it goes out of bounds off of whom? They're going to keep it with Tucker. Gideon Good will come back in. I don't know, I, they got to have him in there. They have to in this game. That's two offensive rebounds there. This possession for Tucker and the dominance on the boards continue. Inbounds comes to Anderson. Bounces it left corner. Wide open three. Be there. Rosenall, no. Knotts another rebound and he's fouled. Owen Knotts goes weak side. That's where they teach you to go on the offensive glass off of this shot. And that's Nate Smith. That's his second. Yeah, and he started just can't get a, a, a possession. 35-24, <laughs> Tucker, six minutes to go, quarter number three. Trevin Bonner examines that East Hardy man-to-man -man defense. Bonner looking as everyone's moving away from the ball. Bonner dumps it left side on the wing to Anderson. Anderson with it, 25 feet out. And work it back to Licklider, right side the pass to Rosenall. Ethan. Bounces it, bad pass. Tried to throw a diagonal pass in the lane, stolen. Put the East Hardy back the other way. GW Teets, five footer, no good. Gets his rebound back, kicks it out, open for three. Got it, count it for Nate Smith. Well, they get their own offensive rebound and make us pay. Lead cut to eight with 5.20 to go third quarter. Yeah, small sky on the floor. JW Teets working hard for that offensive rebound. Tucker slowing it down offensively, and it's kind of affected them a little bit here. Let's see if they can convert. Anderson back out high to Bonner, deep on the left side. Bonner around the screen, drives, shoots, no good, rebound. They got bodies flying everywhere. What do we got here on the call? It'll be a call on Tucker, I believe. Yep. Rosenall maybe, nope, not Rosenall. I'm not sure who they got. It was Rosenall, my apologies. That's his second, team's first. Okay, here we go, five minutes to go, third quarter. Eight point Tucker lead, 35-27, East Hardy ball. Here comes Mason Hamilton. Yeah, that's Rosenall's third foul, too, by the way. Yep, far side of the floor. Out high with it, J.W. Teets. Hands it back to Nate Smith to restart things. Smith into the corner, shoots a three, hits a three. 35-30, timeout Tucker. I think that's a good timeout. We're kind of sleepwalking in this quarter, Dave. Ball in the, in the half-court offense, full timeout. We'll keep it here, but he's already come out shooting the basketball well like they had to do, but Tucker, a little bit of sleep here to start this third quarter. Well, and sometimes, you know how it is, Chris, the worst thing that can happen sometimes is halftime. You know, Tucker was rolling, you know, then they you have to go in the locker room and kind of calm down a little bit, and then you come back out here and try to get yourself ready. And I talked about it at halftime, right? Was East Hardy ready to make a run? Most definitely. We, they proved it here. And I said they, that's when they prove it. The first part of this third quarter, they've been uh, patient. They've worked the ball, and they've taken advantage of opportunities they've had. They've made three-point shots, and they've, they've – they battled here on the offensive end. Now, they 
got through a spell there where he gave up some offensive rebounds, but Tucker County has missed some easy shots. Yeah, and uh, that's and, key. And honestly, like you said, they've they've kind of been methodical in their offense, slowed it down a little bit, and it's kind of affected the rhythm of their of their team. Okay, Tucker still has the lead, 35-30. We have 4:30 to go here, quarter number three in Kaiser. Class A Region 2 Section 1 Championship. The winner will host Tuesday. The loser will travel. Okay, Maddox Anderson into the front court. Anderson with it, 101 with J.W. Teets. Goes right side, or goes left side, or excuse me, right side to Rosenall. Turns, faces, dumps it inside. Too low for the trajectory of the pass, but somehow Wilfall gets it, turns, shoots, and scores, and is fouled. How about Garrett Wilfall? I have no idea how, how the ball got to him, but it did. And he turns, shoots, and scores, and draws the foul. Yeah, that's called hang time, folks. He, he jumped in the air there and double clutched and got a foul and then actually put it in for, for two points. Well, that's a big basket there. Three-point play by Wolfhawk gives Tucker an eight-point lead, 38-30, 4-10 to go, third quarter of play. That last foul was on Mason Hamilton, his first. By the way, that's 14 fouls now on East Hardy here in this third quarter. And ball is stolen by leaping Garrett Wolfong. Looks to the head to Anderson. Anderson back to Garrett Wolfong, trying to throw an alley oop. But Gideon Good steps in front of it, knocks it out of the bounds. Yeah, that bucket there ended a 6 0 run by East Hardy. So Tucker with the ball here. Tucker's offense not as explosive this third quarter, but the next whistle, they'll be shooting free throws. So you got to remember, you got to make your foul shots so you get that opportunity. There's a bad. As Wilfong turns into a steal, as taking it away from him is Jordan Teets. Back comes East Hardy the other way, right side of the floor with it's Mason Hamilton. Hamilton back out high, goes to J.W. Teets. Teets pass back right side to Mason Hamilton. And Licklider's going to be called for a foul, pushed off. That's a good call. He didn't mean to do it. He stuck his arm out, but in the process of sticking his arm out, the East Hardy player ran into it and fell down. Well, you know, they teach you to. They teach you to step up there and bump them as they come through the lane, and that was a little bit more than a bump. 3.26 to go, third quarter. Tucker 38, East Hardy 30. Jordan Teeth gets it in. Driving with it is Evan Hamilton. Evan turns, hands it off to Jordan Teeth, and Bonner tried to save it. <laughs> Almost ran into our laptop as Josh Evans back home is taking a deep breath on that one <laughs> and stays with East Hardy. Uh, Gideon Good wide open there, Chris. They couldn't find him off the switch, and Tucker lost him. Teach, that's Jordan Teach to inbound it. Does, far side corner, Nate Smith, and nearly stolen by Garrett Wilfong, but he's out of bounds. And a good hustle there by Garrett. Quick hands and then quick feet. Almost saved it for a steal. Tucker County 38, East Hardy 30, 3.16 to go third quarter. Out high with it. Mason Hamilton gives it up to Jordan Teach. Nearly lost it. Saved by Nate Smith, and he's fouled by Garrett Wolfong. See, stuff like that, I mean, that's a foul, but you didn't see that as much in the first half. Good call, but they're calling it tighter here. Yeah, they are. And, the, you know, the problem with it is uh, with them calling it tighter is Tucker County not very deep, so you don't want to get in foul trouble here if you're Tucker County. You may want to calm it down a little bit. 38-30, Tucker, 3.09 to go, third quarter. Evan Hamilton, one of the twins, brings it in the front court. To Nate Smith, right side, beyond the wing. Back to Jordan Teach, near side, it comes to Evan Hamilton. Into the paint, they go to Nate Smith. Back out Jordan Teach in front of us. Deep left corner, hands it off to Evan Hamilton. Hamilton drives, dishes Smith, open three, got it. 11 points in the third quarter for Nate Smith, 14 in the game, and the lead is back down to five again, 38-33, 2.30 to go third quarter. Yeah, good penetrating kick there by East Hardy to get that three. Yeah, Nate Smith's red hot right now. Bonner gets a little bit of a zone here, has it out high. Bonner drives the foul line. You can drive against this zone. There's gaps there, Dave. You just got to see where you can hit him. 
And if you can't get there, they're going to collapse on you. That's when you can penetrate out to an open player. Bad pass or inside saved by Licklider in the lane. He lost it, stolen. Nate Smith and stolen back by Rosenall. Goes inside. Licklider's hammered and fouled. There are two green jerseys all over him. And one of them was Gideon Good, but I think the other, other one was J.W. Teach. I think Teach is going to get it. Nope, it's on, sorry, not J.W., Jordan Teach. My apology, it's Jordan second. Team's fifth, so double bonus. And Licklider, 40% on the free throw line on the year. Misses the first one badly, no good. 20, 38, 33, 153 to go, third quarter. Tucker with the lead, trying to make it a six point lead, and no. Will fall, gets the rebound, but taken away by Gideon Good. Back comes East Hardy. Jordan Teets, right side of the floor. Hands it off to J.W. Teets. J.W. guarded there by Bonner. J.W. through the lane, over to Gideon Good, deep right corner, the 6'6 freshman. And taken away by Licklider. He tried to throw it off the body, and then East Hardy gets it back, and Jordan Teets saves it and throws it off Tucker out of bounds back to East Hardy. With 125 to go in the third, they're down 38-33. Yeah, quick exchange of turnovers there on that, with that five second span. Licklider gets the steal and is he out of bounds, yes. A good hustle there by Ashton. Almost got another steal there. JW Teach triggered in right in front of us. We, our broadcast position is right behind him on the floor. At the foul line, getting good, shot no good. Garrett Wilfong on the rebound. Pass ahead to Rosenall. Rosenall is trapped, gets it out of there, back to Wilfong, just across the timeline. Slings it right side deep. Wilfong gets it back from Anderson to Bonner. A minute five to go in the third and turning. Tucker up 38-33. Rosenall, top of the circle. Back over to Trevin Bonner. Bonner's been quiet this quarter after scoring 15 first half points. Bonner, 47 seconds of turning. Hands it off to Maddox Sanders. They kind of running some clock here. Back to Bonner, right corner. Bonner to Licklider, head of the key. Licklider drives by the defender inside, and he walked. No, he's fouled. Oh we'll take God. it. We'll take it. Oh, my. This East Tardy crowd is not liking that. Well, rightfully so, but we'll take it, right? If you're a Tucker fan, you'll take oh, it. Oh, yeah, definitely take it, but he walked. Yeah. Sorry. I'm a Tucker fan, too, and I'm also a realist. Maybe it was before the walk, but he walked. Now, whether the foul occurred before it or not, who knows? That's on Gideon Good. That's his third. Lick lighter at the line, makes the first one. I guess it did. He made the shot. You're Chris Hahn. You're biting your tongue right now. If he hasn't bitten it already. Nah, he's not biting it. He's been on him the whole game. 39-33. Second one in the air. Got it. Wow. Two big foul shots there by Ashton. Good job. Ashton looked at it. Working on those foul shots. Getting better at it. 40-33. to 28 seconds of turning third quarter. Tucker with a seven-point lead. Nate Smith bounces it off. Gets back to J.W. Teets. Teets hands it to Nate Smith. Over to Evan Hamilton. Back over to JW, gets it inside of Jordan, clock at 10. Then Smith, near side wing, skips the far side. JW Teets backs up, almost walked into the corner. JW in trouble, Licklider forces him to turn it over, stolen by Will Fong, and that's how this quarter ends. Great defense by Tucker to close the third quarter. At the end of three in the Class 8 Region 2 Section 1 Championship, it's Tucker County 40, East Hardy 33. We'll come back to the fourth right after this. This TuckerCountySports.com broadcast live on the Tucker County High School basketball and football YouTube live pages are being brought to you by Riccatelli Fencing and Lumber Company, Kidwell Auto Parts, Bob Gutshaw, your local State Farm insurance agent, Cortland Acres, The Nature of Care, Mountain Valley Bank, Stumptown, Taggart's Valley Orthopedics, The Paint Store, The Grove Cafe and Bakery, the Spectacle Family Eye Center, Sirianni's Cafe, and by Miners and Merchants Bank. And now back to more exciting Tucker County action right here on TuckerCountySports.com. 
Oh, also, sorry. Uh, uh, go ahead, Dave. Also want to thank the Smokehouse at Blackwater Falls for coming on on the sponsorship. Back to you, Chris. Now East Hardy outscored Tucker in that third period, 14 to seven. If that happens again here in the fourth, we're going to overtime. So let's hope that doesn't. All right, here we go. Start the fourth quarter. East Hardy has the basketball right in front of us. Mason Hamilton gives it up far side of the floor with it now. Driving the lane, JWT to inside to Gideon Good. He stepped on the baseline. They missed it. Kick out pass. And the shot for three is good. Oh, my goodness. They missed it. Good was on the baseline. They missed it. And Jordan Teets hits the three. How did he miss that? I know. He's 6'6". He's got, what, size 14 sneakers? Well, I'm talking about the guy standing within 10 feet of it. Does he mm. not even look down or what? Oh, man, I don't know. 40 to 36, four point game, 720 to go in this game. Closest East Hardy's been since the beginning. They had it to five in the third. Trevin Bonner, left side of the floor, beyond the perimeter, back on the right side, it goes to Anderson. They got Will Fong posting up, they don't go to him. Instead they go back out high to Bonner. Bonner, get Tucker, very patient here this entire second half. Anderson right side, bounces it inside to Rosenall. He tried to go back inside, bad pass stolen. Too unselfish to pass there. That's Rosenall just needs to pull up and hit that little 12 footer in the lane. Trying to do too much right now is Tucker, turnover. He's tardy, has it. They can get to within two or one here. And it's Smith for three again. No good. Rebound, Rosenall. To the head. Too quick. And timeout, Daniel Helmick. I think he sees what we see, Dave. And a lethargic looking Tucker County offense in the second half. Well, and I think it's a 30. I'm not sure here, but. 6.28 to go, fourth quarter. Tucker County 40, East Hardy 36. And that's just like Tucker's just trying to grind this thing out. And. It's like Rosenall there, instead of getting through there and just pulling up and hitting that 12 footer, he tried to go back inside to try to get a better look, but too many arms and legs in there and ended up getting stolen. We've seen that a couple times here. And guys like Trevin Bonner, they've had some looks outside just passing those up. It's like they just want to run clock here, Dave. Well, let's credit East Hardy's defense as well. Well, and it's also slowed down the reaction time of Tucker. Like the, the pass was there, but it was just like a second behind, and that's why East Hardy got the steal. That's that's where Tucker County has got to be a little better. They have to be more crisp. They're not crisp like they were in that first and second quarter. And uh, maybe this timeout will reset them here. Rosenall pass in the backcourt to Maddox Anderson. Don't forget the inside game. You can get it back outside and get some open looks. Bounce pass back door. Too much traffic in there and out of bounds off Tucker. Tried to run a set play there, but just congested in the lane. Big possession here for East Hardy. Just don't like the feel of this game. I just don't like how we're playing in the second half. And we got to pick it up here, especially it starts here defensively. Out high with it, Jordan Teets. Back out high to Hamilton. To Jordan Teets right in front of us. To JW Teets between the circles. Well, they missed one. Jordan Teets pushing off on Rosenall there. They let that go. Back out high, yo yo in the basketball, Mason Hamilton. Over to Evan, he drives, back out high. Far side of the floor, it's JW Teets, he drives, and he throws it off the hands, that's a good call. That went off Lick Rider, it's right in front of us. Yeah, that's, that's, that's close. That might be the easiest call all night. They tried to sell it, but <laughs> good, it went off good. It did go off good, but then Lick Rider touched it yeah, after that. Yeah, he hit it right before it went out of bounds. J.W. Teets inbounds it. Jordan Teets falls down, trying to save it was Tucker. What a play by Maddox Anderson to save that basketball off that steal. I don't know how he kept himself inbounds. Okay. Open three, Bonner be there. No, off the rim, rebound. Mason Hamilton. That was a great play by Garrett Wilfong also to get over there to keep it from going out of bounds. 40 to 36, Tucker, 5-18 to go, fourth quarter. You need to stop here. Hamilton pulls up. Had a shot blocked by Garrett Wilfong. Gets the rebound back. Wilfong tried to get it, but could not. Gideon Good hands it back off to Mason Hamilton. Hamilton through the lane. Bounces it back inside to Good. Stolen by Wilfong, but stolen back 
by Mason Hamilton. He'll pull up, five footer, no good. Will fall on the rebound, he's being harassed. And he'll dribble back out of there, and here he comes up the floor. And he nearly threw it away, gets it to Bonner. Bonner turns, pivots, gets it back to Maddox Anderson. Again, the inside out game is something you might want to look at here if you can get it in there. You got Will Fong posting up. If they don't like it, get it back out to a guard, maybe get an open three. Will Fong, left corner with it. Drives the baseline. Garrett now pounces it. Nice pass inside and a miss layup. But then there's Licklider on the rebound and he's fouled. Another miss layup inside by Tucker, but credit Licklider on the offensive glass to get the rebound and the foul. And I think that's on JW Teets. If so, that's his third. We'll wait and see. 421 left in this ball game. First foul called in this quarter. And it goes against East Hardy. But good job by Licklider there to get that offensive board. And they rode him out of the lane. They called the foul. They called on Jordan Teets, the brother. Instead, that's his third. Tucker County ball, Rose in all left corner. High post, it goes to Licklider. Back right side to Garrett Wolfong, all beyond the perimeter, as you see on your screen. And if my stats are right, Chris, Tucker County's only scored two field goals in his second half. Yeah, look down at my book real quick, and I believe you're right. And you are correct, and that all came in the third quarter. 3.52 in turning, Tucker leads 40 to 36, and they're holding the basketball. I just don't like why we're, I just don't like why we've ended up doing this. It started to begin the third, and here we are. Pass inside, and we got a cheap foul coming up here against East Hardy, and that definitely was on J.W. Teets. We'll take it. And that's his sec third foul, team's the second. There's another factor that plays into this, and I'll get to it in a second. If this comes down to free throws, Tucker County is a team this year, 59% at the foul line. That is not good, so you kind of hope that we stay away from that. Driving is Bonner, missing is Bonner. Rebounding is Will Fall. Good job by Garrett. Garrett drives the lane, dishes it right side to Bonner, back out to Rose Noll. He fakes the three, steps by the defender, fires another one, no good. Rebound down to Evan Hamilton. Hamilton back the other way, lays it up and in. This has now gone to a two-point lead. 40 to 38, 307 to go. Tucker's got to step it up here. And it's time to wake up. The alarm clock has sounded. Quit quit. Punching the snooze button and let's go, right? Bonner out high. Left side it goes to Rosenall, who's double team. Back over to Bonner. To Anderson, head of the key. Anderson dribbles in to go back inside to Will Fall. Nice pass. Lick ladder lays it up and in. There you go. Unselfish pass. They look weak side. Lick ladder scores it. 42 38. Tucker. 236 to go. Whistle. Timeout. He's tardy. Got to be a full timeout. They have two remaining. 2.36 to go here in the fourth quarter. 42-38. Tucker, two-possession game. White knuckle game here, Dave. Yeah, and then I'll be honest, Chris, it's feeling a little bit like that first game. Like, you know, Tucker had a lead, and then uh, East already kept chipping away at it, and, uh, you know, Tucker kind of, you know, Got tight, and he started. He got back in it, and and ultimately won the game. And you know, it's kind of feel, feeling a little bit like that. I hope not. But the uh, the way Tucker County is kind of methodically running their offense here, you kind of wish they would just kept rolling with it. And sometimes, you know, uh, it's hard to do that. You know, you're running your offense, and you're not getting getting the looks you want. But uh, you know, he started. Big possession here, 2.36 left in this game. They're down four. You know, you don't need a three, but, uh, you know, East Hardy's, everything they've scored, it seems like in this game, has either come off a fast break or a drive and kick. So, you know, if you're Tucker County here, Chris, you just can't leave the shooters. You know, let them see if they can make a two. Don't give up a three on a help side defense. That's credit East Hardy's defense in this second half as well. They've done a good job kind of putting Tucker to sleep as we speak. Okay, J.W. Teets. Far side of the floor goes to Nate Smith. Smith with it on the right side. Back out high to J.W. Teets. They try to set a screen. Tucker doubles that. Hand off. Evan Hamilton turns. Hands it off. Wide open to the basket. Jordan Teets threw it away. How about Maddox Anderson stepping in front of Jordan Teets with the steal? 
Will Fong fell down, got it back. He's tardy pressure and even after a steal. Rosenau get this thing across the timeline, guys, and there they do. 157 to go and turning. Tucker 42, East Hardy 38. Rosenau hands it off. Bonner. Bonner's one of those guys that can penetrate himself in dish if you want to think that way. Keep in mind also you look at the foul shooting situation. Bonner 71% at the line, and Ethan Rosenau is your two best free throw shooters out there as we sit right now. 133 to go. Yeah, East Hardy's probably got to think about fouling here, I would think. Anderson. Had the open look, doesn't take it. Don't blame him here. He got a two possession game, and there's a foul. A two possession lead you can afford now to be patient, right, Dave? Well, the problem is you that was your only third foul. Actually, was that third or fourth? Third. So you got to do it again. You got to do it a couple more times. So you might as well go get it now. 42-38, Bonner makes his defender off the dribble, weaves back around, gets it back to Anderson. Precious time ticking here. Anderson to Rosenall, and Rosenall is fouled. Now this next one, you, Rosenall is not the person you want to foul. And you may want to think about, if you're Chris Hahn, throwing somebody in there right now that don't have any fouls and save fouls for one of your players out there that had three, which was Actually, you had a player just foul out, so yeah. he already had four. Evan Hamilton has picked up his fourth and fifth fouls in the last two fouls for East Hardy. Well, he, he probably should have had somebody else in the game. Bonner races at the front court. Another foul from behind, this time by Mason Hamilton. Yeah, and that's ultimately not the guy you want to foul that's out there right now. He sends Bonner to the line to shoot two. Double yeah. bonus, that's the 15 foul. Bonner on the year, day 71% of the line. He's our best free throw shooter. First one airborne and good. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to wait to foul people, that's not the person you want to foul, but obviously that wasn't the plan, or they were the plan the different. Second one, in and out, no good. Rebound, Tucker County's not. Follow up, no good, he's fouled. Again, if Tucker wins this game, you can look at the offensive glass as to why. They have been huge on the offensive glass tonight, yeah. and as they should be. Yeah, they just three offensive rebounds for East Hardy, and there's a bunch on Tucker's side. And that's the fourth foul on Gideon Good. Knott's free throw good. Knott's on the year is a 57% free throw shooter, and he's one, check that two for three today. Senior second one up. He got a pair, that's huge. Now Tucker County leads 45-38, three possessions. Seven point lead. Hamilton with it, far side corner, and we got a timeout, Chris Hahn. And that is, leaves East Hardy with one timeout remaining. Folks listening back at home, 57.3 to go, fourth quarter. Tucker County 45, East Hardy 38. That's a seven point lead, that's a three possession lead. Whew, Tucker County holding on here, Dave. Yeah, and with 2.36 left in this game, the score was 42 to 38, Tucker County. And that down there, we put they put Bonner to the line, he made one, but then he missed the second and Tucker got the offensive rebound and a foul on Owen Knotts, and he steps up and makes two foul shots. A three-point swing there. It puts you right where you're at now in the difference in this game. You know, it was 42-38. Those three points is the difference right now, and it all came at the foul line. And, Chris, if we look back at this, and this is the stat we'll never believe if we're telling it. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Three field goals. <laughs> Isn't that hard Tucker to believe? County has in the second half and they have a seven point lead. And they shoot 59% as a team at the line and they may win it at the line. Daniel Helmick may want to run down here at seats after this game and buy a lottery <laughs> ticket. Yeah, he might, no doubt. Well, got to finish it. Still plenty of time for East Tardy for the way they can shoot the three ball. Never over if this fine group from the eastern part of Hardy County. 45-38, Cougars have the basketball. Nate Smith, quick release three, far side corner. There you go, hits it. Never out of the game is East Hardy. Nate Smith hits the three. He has 19 points to lead them, and they just call their final timeout, according to my book. Yeah, I don't think he wanted the timeout. I think he was telling them to foul, 
but uh, Corey Haynes over there gave him one, and you got it. <laughs> what a big timeout that was. I mean, that, or what a big three-point shot that was. That was. was. Yeah, it I mean, was a big three. But, you know, then you, you're actually thinking, that, did Chris Hahn want that timeout? I, I don't think he did. He was signaling like a timeout, but it was almost like he was telling him to foul. But nonetheless, 48 seconds left. We'll reset it here. 45-41, Tucker County leads it. But, you know, you, here's where Tucker County, you, know, you talked about it, you bring it up. They got to make foul shots here because the fouls are coming. Well, you know, he's trying to, he's working on the press in there. He's, called, he's telling him, look, be aggressive. Go for a steal. I mean, you never know. They may not blow a whistle. If you get the steal, that's even better. You know, and if, and if they do get it inbound, then you got to foul quickly because we're going to stretch this thing out as far as we can if you're East Hardy because, you know, Tucker County, not a great foul shooting team. They've been better tonight. But Chris Hahn wants to stretch this thing out as far as he can because he knows he has the talent to come from behind if Tucker misses free throws. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, Ethan Rosenhall will be the one to trigger it in. Why not put the quarterback in there to inbound it? They do. Bonner is trapped. Call a timeout. Instead, he throws it off the leg out of bounds. Tucker has plenty of timeouts remaining. They got three. So, if you get in that situation again, call a timeout. Yeah, and he went where you really didn't want to go, right in that corner. Rosenhall lobs it in. Nice pass. Caught. Trevin Bonner. Will he do that next year in football? We'll find out. And he's double teamed and fouled in the front court. And it might be on Teets. If it's JW, that's his fourth. That's the other thing we look at. It's not on JW, it's on another player, but he's tardy getting in serious foul trouble as we speak. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to foul and you know you got to foul, you've got to try to uh, get some kids in there that don't have as many fouls. Now he's got four, and it's dire straits for this team. Bonner makes the free throw, 46-41. Second foul shot, good. 47-41, two possession gain, 38 seconds in turning, fourth quarter. You gotta go. Teets with it. J.W. Teets, who has only scored two points tonight, has it, head fakes the three. Gets it back to Nate Smith, fade away three, no good. Gideon good at the rebound. Kicks it out, Jordan Teets, open three, no good. Good offensive rebound, but he's over the back, isn't he? Are they going to call Owen Knotts on the box out? No, they didn't. Yeah, thank I thought, goodness. Yeah, I thought maybe they were going to call it on Owen Knotts, boxing him out too hard, but they get it right, and they give the foul to Gideon Good. I got him with five. Yeah, there's the horn. Yeah, and with 22 seconds left, one foul shot here makes this a three-possession game and a pretty hard thing to do especially with no timeouts. Well, here's where the new rules work for your advantage now for teams in the fourth quarter. That last foul for East Tardy was their ninth. So in the old rules, we'd still be in the one-on-one -on -one with well, a chance to put the ball in play after a miss, but well, double bonus now. Well, and if you're Chris Horn, I know what you're saying to the officials. It's 5-0, and you're still calling fouls on me, but they were in a situation where they had to foul. But they didn't have a choice. Knotts makes the free throw. And the other thing is, East Hardy doesn't penetrate much. They do a little bit, but it's more penetrating pitch. They've been out here shooting threes the whole second half, and it's kind of hard to draw a lot of fouls doing that. Yep. How about Owen Knotts? Boy, how about that? Five out of six at the line for a kid that came in here. 57 Actually, he's five minutes. for five. The one was a lane violation. Doesn't count through the Long stats. shot for three. No good. Rebound. Rosenall. 11 seconds to go. 49-41. Tucker County is going to win it. Maddox Anderson had his pocket picked by Jordan Teach. He doesn't care. Teach drives, has a shot blocked. They call a foul on that with .6. <laughs> okay, foul call. We will play on here as we'll have free throws coming up here at the line by Jordan Teach, three of them, Dave. No, you won't. Was he shooting three? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was about 30 feet out when he pulled up there. Wow. Almost, I thought they were called on the ground. Almost like a pass. It might have been. But yeah, they, that's what I would have probably yeah. did. Called it on the ground. Kevin Bonner's trying to tell his teammates, get down here. This game isn't over. So Jordan teats at the line to shoot three. Now the F Tucker fans yelling just like football. Free throw good. 49-42, to go.
Teets. It's going to make again. it look a lot better than it was. 49-43. What do they call it? Window dressing going on right here. Yeah. Or as Scott Van Pelt would say, bad beat. Yeah. <laughs> One more coming for Teets. Might try to miss this on purpose to get a rebound, but he does miss it, but not on purpose. Rebound, that does it. Tucker County, 49. East Tardy, 43. The Mount Lions once again capture the class single A region two section one championship. They will host on Tuesday night against the loser of tomorrow night's game between Pendleton County and Tigers Valley. We'll come back on our post game show for the stats and more right after this. This TuckerCountySports.com broadcast live on the Tucker County basketball and football YouTube live pages is being brought to you by Pat and Jacqueline Nichols, attorney at law. Proud to support Tucker County Sports. Ed, Marcy, and Roxanne, supporting Tucker County kids. Jim's All-Star, hot food, cold beverages, and gas. Best of Canaan, vacation rentals, and property management. Mike Rosenall, your Tucker County Commissioner, wishing all Tucker County High School Mount Lions a safe and successful season. Atkins Home Center and Southern States of Parsons. Mr. Pizza of Parsons, home of the Mr. Big. More than just pizza, try our sub salads and wings. Robert Estates Incorporated, serving all of your general contracting needs. United Financial Service, auto life and commercial insurance plus annuities. Grand Slam Grill. Visit us for our signature burgers and our fresh cut fries. St. George Medical Clinic, locations in St. George, Parsons, and Canaan Valley. Grant County Bank, committed to the communities we serve. Mountain State Brewery and Pizza, call us for your next pizza order located in Thomas. This TuckerCountySports.com broadcast is also being brought to you by Riccatelli Fencing and Lumber Company, your local rustic fence provider. The Smokehouse at Blackwater Falls. Visit them for your next home-cooked meal. Kidwell Auto Parts with locations in Parsons and Thomas. Bob Gutshaw, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Cortland Acres, the nature of care. Choose us for your long-term care, rehab, and therapy needs. Mountain Valley Bank, locations in Parsons, Elkins, and Mill Creek. Stumptown Ales, open daily in downtown Davis. Taggart's Valley Orthopedics, now located at Davis Medical Center in Elkins. The Paint Store, your local Benjamin Moore paint supplier. The Grove Cafe and Bakery, located on Virginia Avenue in Petersburg. The Spectacle Family Eye Care, your local eye care provider located in Petersburg. Sirianni's Cafe with locations in Davis and Canaan Valley. And by Miners and Merchants Bank. Call the Friendly Bank for your next loan. And now back to more exciting Mount Lions action right here. TuckerCountySports.com. Well, it wasn't easy. We knew it wouldn't be. At the half, Tucker led 33-19, to and he's already came out firing in the second half, thanks in large part to their fine shooting guard, Nate Smith. He finishes with 19. 14 of those came in the second half, and he hit four second-half threes. He and East Hardy combined to outscore Tucker in the second half, 24-16, but it was not enough. Tucker County wins this game with a good first half offensively, and the second half at the foul line, really good at the line there, was Tucker in the second half. And all game long, all four quarters, Tucker County dominated. And I repeat, dominated the offensive glass, and they should have with their height advantage in this game. But sometimes that's easier said than done because East Hardy's so quick and athletic. Sometimes you can use that to, to their advantage and they can sneak in there and get those rebounds. So credit Tucker tonight on the glass. And they win this despite a very poor effort offensively in the second half. 49-43, Dave. Yeah, and uh, Tucker County out rebounds East Hardy on the offensive glass, 16-3. And 16-3. Uh, How about that stat? Yeah. That's and the stat that's, of the game. That's, that's unofficial stats, by the way. That's official to us, right? But, uh, you know, the total rebound was 32-13. to 13. 
uh, Tucker County. How about that out, stat? Out rebounding East Hardy. And, 32 and that, 13. And that was the difference because you look, like we said, as we uh, you know, were talking at the end of this game, you know, Tucker County only has three, three field goals the whole second half. And how do you do that? By controlling the glass and, uh, you know, holding teams to one shot and you get multiple opportunities and drawing fouls. You know, they also, in the fourth quarter, Chris, we talked about their foul shooting woes, you know, uh, and you'll probably go over this a little bit, but they shot eight foul shots and made seven of them in yeah. the fourth quarter. That, that's an Ellen Knotts. Yes. Five out of five, as yes. you said there at the line. Yeah, five out of five for the senior tonight. You know, the one was a lane violation. Uh, they waved off, so you can't count that toward a miss. Actually, it went in. So it would have been six out of six if they don't if they don't count the uh, lane violation. So a good job by Tucker County to close it out when I think everybody, including maybe you, <laughs> as you was calling the game, was nervous about you know uh, putting it in the foul shooter's hands. And uh, you know Tucker County, despite playing poorly in the second half offensively, found a way to win this game a different way than they have been accustomed to winning games. Yeah, I think you can learn a lot from this. You just mentioned that very last statement, learn from that. Number two, I think you can learn. You get a big lead like this at halftime, come out in the second half, you got to keep the gas down a little bit. I mean, I know you don't want to go balls to the wall here, but you got to keep that gas down just a hair. I thought we got way too patient, way too unaggressive, so to speak, in this second half. And East Hardy's defense did have something to say about that. They did a good job on Ethan Rosenall tonight. They did. And, you know, they hold Ethan Rosenall probably to his lowest scoring game of the of the season. What do you have, six points total maybe? Um, he uh, flipped the book over, and he had six. You're right. So, I mean, I, you know, you got – there's a formula to beat Tucker County, you know, and I think East Hardy showed you tonight how to do it. Now, can anybody do it the rest of the way? We'll, you know, we'll find out. But uh, Tucker County is going to host a regional game next week on Tuesday, and uh, you know they'll find out who their opponent will be. More than likely, it'll be the you know, well, not more than likely, it will be the loser of the other side of the sectional championship, which is Taggart's Valley, right, and Pendleton County. That game's being played tomorrow in and, Franklin. And that game's being played tomorrow. So whoever wins that game will avoid Tucker County, but they will also get East Hardy, who uh, more than likely these two teams may have a chance to meet up again in, yeah. in a couple weeks. You look at the seeds coming up, and we don't know until after next week what they'll be. Uh, once the regionals are set, the 16 coaches will then vote, and then we'll find out later what they'll be when the regionals are over with. But if you look at it right now on paper, if Tucker, Tuck Valley, and East Hardy survive and make it to Charleston, it wouldn't surprise me a bit. But that's how the seeds are, one, two, and three. And, and, you know, it's funny. You can lose your section and still be a three seed. Well, that's how good these three teams are. I've been all year. And so, yeah, East Hardy's got nothing to be ashamed about. I thought they played much better tonight, you know, than they did last year. I think they were more mature this, this time around, and you figured they would be. And uh, they're tough. They're tough. They're going to cause some people problems in Charleston if they get there. Last time they played Pendleton, by the way, they blew them out pretty bad. So, that. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen next week there in Franklin, but uh, this is a very good East Hardy team. I found a much better defensive effort tonight, and I've seen from them in a long time. Yeah, and, you know, and you talked to Coach on before the game, and he he done he did some uh, junk defense in the first half, and he's probably sitting there thinking about maybe he shouldn't have done that. Maybe he should have just played straight up because he played more straight up, I thought, in the second half, and uh, they and they handled Tucker pretty well defensively now. Obviously, Tucker County wasn't attacking like they were in the first half, but uh, and you know what? You know what's you got to tip your cap to East Hardy. They fought hard. They come out in this second half and really battled and uh, and and got this thing down to four points twice. Once with 2:36 left, it was 42 to 38, and then with 48 seconds left in this game, it was 45-41, Tucker. So. Uh, they got it down to four a couple times, but just couldn't close the deal. Final stats look like this. Tucker led by Trevor Bonner, 18 points tonight, six field goals. Three of them were threes. Three points for Maddox Anderson, six for Ethan Rosenall, five points for Owen Knotts, 12 big points for Ashton Licklider and a lot of rebounds as well. And Garrett Wolf on finished with five. 15 field goals for the Mount Lions, only three field goals in the second half, however. 
12 for 17 at the line, 49 points. Now for East Tardy, they go to 18 and 3 with the loss. By the way, Tucker's win total now, that was their 20th win. They're now 20 and 3. So for the Cougars, Nate Smith, 19 points. I mentioned in that second half, four threes. He had five total threes in the game. Two points for JWT. How about that stat, Dave? We held JWT to two points. That's huge. He came in here averaging 14. Big stat there. Evan Hamilton, two points. Mason Hamilton, seven. Jordan Teets, eight. Gideon Good had five off the bench. 15 field goals for the Cougars. Nine threes, six twos. Four for eight at the line. And 43 points. Dave has some more additional stats. Yeah, rebounding, uh, I went over it a little bit. 32 to 13 was the rebound advantage for Tucker County. The leading rebounder for East Hardy was Evan Hamilton with, well, actually Mason Hamilton with four. Evan Hamilton had three, and Good had three rebounds. Tucker County, leading rebounder tonight was Garrett Wilfong. He had nine rebounds, five defensive rebounds, four offensive rebounds. And Ashton Lick, that are actually next in line, was Owen Knotts with eight rebounds. He had four rebounds apiece, offensive and defensive. And then Ashton Licklatter finished with six rebounds. He had five offensive rebounds and one defensive rebound for Ashton Licklatter. And, uh, off, and the turnovers were pretty even. Uh, he started, he turned the ball over 13 times to Tucker County's 11. But Tucker County controlling the glass and controlling the game. And get another sectional championship uh, for this Tucker County team and uh, uh, the ability to host the game next next Tuesday at Tucker County is huge and uh, whoever's coming there likely be maybe Tigers Valley maybe Pendleton who knows but uh, a big hill to climb for whoever that opponent is quickly before we sign off listeners listening in the girls you know who you're playing and next week give us your quick thoughts because this will be the last time we talked to you on air before the state tournament. Yeah, we, we got a three seed. We play a six seed, which is Tyler Consolidated. Uh, you know, we've, uh, we, you know, we know, we know how they are and you know, we're, we're working towards that now. We got a few practices here to, you know, to try to get that, uh, you know, worked out. But, you know, it's a, it's a three, six matchup. You know, we're favored to win the game and, you know, but we got to come ready to play and we got to be, we got to be ready to uh, withstand the challenge that they that they have. They got a couple nice players, and we're going to have to control them if we're going to control the game. And we can't start looking towards Friday. We got to worry about Wednesday, and that's uh, Wednesday at 9:30 a.m. Uh, that's the that, other factor. 9:30 a.m. That game will be uh, broadcast on a lot of the uh, local uh, radio stations, and also on Metro News. Uh, there'll be uh, audio uh, provided for that. So uh, tune in, and if you can't make it down to Charleston, tune in and cheer the Tucker County Lady Mount Lines on as we try to uh, get to Saturday once again, just like last year. Final score once again, the Tucker County boys win their 20th game of the season. They win a good one tonight in the Class Single A Region 2 Section 1 Championship, 49-43. Over East Tardy, Tucker up next Tuesday night at home, 7 p.m. against the loser of Pendleton County and Tigers Bay. That game tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in Franklin. And we'll see you then on Tuesday night. For Dave Helmick, I am Chris George.